California is now implementing a law that requires students to have vaccinations before attending school. But what does this mean for those who are opposed to getting their children vaccinated? Valley View News reporter Mergen Borzolotti has more on that story. California has a new vaccination law. Joining Mississippi and West Virginia, it is the third state in the nation to adopt strict vaccination school entrance requirements. Medical experts say disease rates are likely to fall in California as they have in those states. Pharmacist and nurse Tally Shams says immunizations are important and studies indicate that there are no negative effects as some people claim. I personally think it should be encouraged and it should be enforced just because people assume that it is causing a variety of different potential side effects such as autism when there isn't any clinical significance behind it. Truth be told, if you actually want to enhance the healthcare system and just enhance health within our society, it is recommended to be vaccinated to its fullest. The new vaccination requirement took effect July 1st. It removes the personal belief exemptions that allowed parents not to vaccinate their children in public or private schools or child care centers based on an opposition to vaccines. California now allows only children who have a medical reason to be excused from the mandate. There are more than 9 million children under the age of 18 in California, which makes the impact of improved vaccination rates all that more significant. Sarah Johnson has a two-year-old son who attends a daycare center, and she is expecting baby number two at the beginning of next year. She has doubts about the new law and believes that it is unfair to enforce it. You know, if a parent has a specific reason why their child shouldn't be vaccinated, that child shouldn't be um, ineligible from attending school. That's a right that we have. It should be to have education. Getting rid of the medical or the personal exemption, um, I think that that's not necessarily the best way to go. There are still 47 states that allow parents to choose not to vaccinate their children because of a personal or religious opposition to vaccination. Several studies have showed that the easier it is for parents to decline to immunize their children, the higher the opt-out rates are and the greater the risk of outbreaks of diseases. In Lake Balboa, this is Morgan Bertolotti.